A burst won't be in a peninsula, especially vulnerable due to the effects of climate change and impacts from sea level rise. We look forward to the work of the Rhode Island uh, climate, I mean, Executive Climate Change Council in continued collaboration with the state to help us address these impacts. We look forward to the work and recommendations of the Council or ECDEC3. Governor, welcome to Bristol. Thank you. So there's no doubt that climate change and extreme weather are occurring. I think we can all finally agree on that. And we're here in Bristol because of excessive storms, a lot of rainwater, and as Tony said, this beach was closed maybe 10 times a year, 4 to 10 times a year, and last year, as Tony said, how many times? Zero. Because we made the investment, and if you get a chance, those that haven't been here, uh, the, over there, the infrastructure that Tony talked about, the green infrastructure is put, up, uh, put in over there, and then the geese that used to come here and contribute to some of the closures, uh, plant the trees and keep the geese from uh, landing. Uh, so these are all the investments that, uh, as we deal with the inevitable results of climate change and, and extreme weather. And we're also here because we're releasing, per the executive order issued in February, a draft of the EC3 report. And so our jobs out there is to spread the word to get public comment on our draft. It's a global issue, but we in Rhode Island can lead the way. Number two, collaborate with local government. That's another reason why we're here. Federal government, private sector, and higher education. Number three, pursue economic opportunities. There are economic opportunities with extreme weather and climate change. Let's take advantage of those. Accelerate vulnerability assessments. I think Jamie is going to talk about that. Now we can uh, decide where we're most vulnerable and then prepare from there. Number five, we increase resilience through mitigation. We can mitigate climate change. We can do that, especially on carbon dioxide. Number six, increase resilience through adaptation. Let's prepare. It is coming. Let's prepare. Number seven, coordinate scientific and technical support. Get the scientists talking with the technicians. And number eight, very, very important. So we start with a good one, lead by example. We end with a good one. We have to communicate effectively. That's